Do you like my new braids? I got them at the beach at Barcelona like the other week. But today, welcome to another Born Again. And today I'm gonna to show you my five favorite charity shop thrift store steals. And I almost forgot, if you haven't subscribed, then what are you waiting for? I love going charity shops. It kind of stems from my parents when they came to England with not much money, they'd go to jumble sales, which was the thing for charity shops. Unfortunately, jumble sales have died out. You could buy clothes for like 20p a garment. It was ridiculous. Now, a steal is a couple quid. How can I complain when like new garments in the shop cost like 50 plus quid? These five garments I've worn the most. They're literally my favorite. And Truth be told, I'm actually wearing River Island skinny jeans which have been worn for a couple years. They're so worn that I can't show you all the holes because it's too much. I've been told off a few times. My point is that buying new clothes doesn't necessarily mean they're better, they're cooler, they have better quality or anything like that. Well, I guess it's easy to find the right size because that's the only drawback in charity shops. When you find something, you find something. It can take a while to get that look, the size and <laughs> not the price in this case. Right. I'm going to leave my favourite item till last because it's just the best. So let's start with the t-shirts. One second. Look at my blue tap glasses. <laughs> I stepped on them in the club. Yeah, it's really annoying. This baby I love so much. Why is it the best? Because it's so loose. It costs two quid. With the prices, I always remembered them. Like I know, give or take. For me, blue goes really well because I have blue eyes and blonde hair, so it kind of just works. But also, it's just it's cotton, it's breathable, it's light, and it's really soft. And I just love this kind of pattern. I couldn't find anywhere else. I wear this around the house. I wear this when I go out. And it's that kind of item you want that is durable, but you're not worried when you go out that someone is gonna see you. Because <laughs> I wear it a lot, like just about. But also when you wear it out, that you're like, yeah, I am wearing it. I got this watch. It goes so much better than that yellow one I just had. Next. My second favorite top was such a steal. I always like confused myself. I was just like a Hollister for two pounds, it costs 10 Polish water. The exchange is one pound to five water. This is me when I went to Poland. I found a charity shop in the middle of Łódź, central Poland. And honestly, this is, this is ridiculous. I was buying, I bought a load of items, but it almost kind of felt like stealing because I was getting it for nothing. It's so funny because in Poland, I guess no one knows what a Hollister is because the new retail price is way out of people's price range. I mean, a new one of these, it costs like 30, 40 quid, like times five, that's 150 what it. Who can afford that in Poland? Not many people, to be honest. So, uh... I cannot go to London and not get... Hello? My next one is this jacket. Why do I love it so much? Well, apart from getting in Slovenia in another charity shop I found, Parents, just stick a camera in front of your kid's bed and they will do it because it's embarrassing otherwise. I'm not sure about the brand, it doesn't really matter, but I really love the cut and that I've worn it so many times and I'm going to keep wearing it. Don't stop. I love it, I love it. Where did I find it? I found it in Slovenia when I went on a holiday. I don't know who I went to the charity shop with, but I think it was some like Canadian American girls. We found loads of clothes and we helped the charity shop out there, which is great because, you know, a lot of people work volunteer there. It's not like fast fashion in the high street. It's different, you know, they have a different ethos. And to be able to help them, that's such a great positive, but also that you find something that you love is even better. So it, so it goes both ways. Yeah, just, just finding stuff abroad is the best. It's like the best souvenir. Not something that you're just gonna chuck into the corner and like leave, but something that like you're actually gonna wear and it's gonna remind you of the destination. I love when you connect dots like into one, like interconnect. But it's just kind of like a, almost like a bin liner plasticky kind of loose feel. And also this I've wear 
everywhere with me, inside, outside. Like when I'm trying to be cool, when I'm trying to be like practical, because it's got nice pockets, you can put stuff in there, everything. And uh, yeah, it's I've been wearing it all summer. Don't stop. Okay, it's getting better. Each one's getting better. Did I mention it cost two quid? This one cost a bit more. I wouldn't buy leather new. I'm not a full-blown hippie not to wear leather, but if it's second hand and it's going to go in the bin, it's just recycling. And to be fair, real leather does have its own qualities that you can't find in any other fake material. That is true. I am inadvertently supporting the leather industry, but it's secondhand and that's the motto I go by because this is actually amazing. This leather jacket, bloody hell, I love it. I love it. Oh. Guess how much it costs. My mate, Tim, you paid like 500 quid like for your Timberland leather jacket, I remember. And I was just like not saying anything at the time, but I paid 35 quid, 35 quid. And this, oh, in the rain, like out and about. And you can always just like boast about the price you got and the fact that it was a steal. When I bought it in the shop, I, I tried to get it less than 35, I tried to haggle it down. But the guys were like, you know what, this is quality. And like, I got it reserved for half an hour and then I ran home to get my extra like 20 quid cash. And I came, ran back, ran back, ran back. And uh, they kept it for me and the shop didn't close before I managed to purchase it. Because items like this don't last long. You have to look for months to find stuff like this. I've been going in and out of charity shops so many times that I kind of appreciate that. And um, I don't know who gave it to the charity shop, but thank you very much. But it's got found a good home now. Now the piece de resistance. Guess how much my sexy, sexy sheepskin cost. You know, I'm actually really surprised it cost, no, it didn't cost 30 quid, not 20. It cost 10 pounds, 10 pounds. This was not from a charity shop. This was from a thrift store. I went with my best cousin, Philip. Thanks for taking me there. Cause if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have found it. And I was looking for this throughout the whole of my uni uh, when I, maybe don't need it as much now but to be honest I've worn it so many times since I bought it I've slept in it at festivals I've <laughs> I've used it as a pillow I've used it as a duvet no seriously I slept in it like this like a <laughs> like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly <laughs> I've gone out with it yeah I actually really like this you know and uh, it's a perfect size because with with a jacket like this if it's the wrong size, you're just gonna look like a mug. You can't get the wrong size. I've said no to so many when I really wanted to get it, but I could see I looked like a, it would have looked stupid. So what did I do? I just kept, didn't give up. And uh, I found some other items in the thrift store. They were really, they still got that smell, that thrift store smell. But this is what it's all about, you know? Finding something you love and that you're gonna keep wearing. I wouldn't have found this in the shop. And if I paid a hundred plus quid for it, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been the same. Cause uh, it's got no history, it's got no character and it's a ridiculous price fueling a ridiculous corporation that's not bringing much good to the world. It's, this is so warm. It is actually so warm. I didn't think I'd be wearing it in the summer. I bought it in the spring and it was like, my, my auntie was like, wrong time of the year, son. <laughs> but honestly, like in the UK at least, the nights and even in the day, it's quite cold, especially when it's cloudy or raining. So yeah. I've got to say, I have to be honest, there is one tear here in the collar and there's no buttons. And to confirm there should be buttons, there are holes here. Sometimes you get you get what you pay for, but honestly, like, even with this, it's just the character you get with it. 
and the price as well and the collar when it's folded over you don't see and the buttons do you need it closed it's too hot when it's closed anyway <laughs> i wanted to make this kind of video for so long that i'm just so happy to have made it if you like this video and if you want me to make more of these kind of videos then do please like and tell your friends because whichever video i get more views of i think i should make more of in the future also subscribe comment but comment feedback is like so great to hear thank you for tuning in to born again it was a pleasure and have a great day i'm gonna see you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or next week but i'll see you again Thank you.